B is for Bulldozer, a construction ABC by June Sobel, illustrated by Melissa Awai. This is, I've never read this book before, but when I did read it, I, I thought of a lot of you, because I know a lot of you mentioned liking uh, trucks, but I also thought about my own sons, and we used to have to go to construction sites and look at the all the machines and stuff. Sometimes we would just go park by them, and we would sit there for hours just watching the machines work. And that's what this book reminded me of. Sometimes when we read books, we find a personal connection to the book. So that's what I want you to start thinking about when we read this book. What is your personal connection? Where do you connect to the story in this book? There are lots of ways to connect, but what's the connection? What do you find familiar in the book? That's what I want you to think about as you listen. B is for Bulldozer, a construction ABC book. So we've been looking at a lot of ABC books this week, and this is another one. And this one also has some rhyming in it too. Here's the publication page and the dedication page. But this also gives me some ideas as to what the story is going to be like. When I look at this picture, I see two kids. One's on his bike and one has a dog. And they're watching a construction site. They're building something. And tacked up to the tree on the right-hand sign is a side sign that says, Coming Soon, Wonderland. And it looks like a picture. There's a roller coaster and a clown and an elephant and a Ferris wheel on that sign. So I'm thinking that the construction crew is building Wonderland, which is some kind of amusement park. So now that I know that, I have some sense of where the story's gonna go. And that's really important to helping me to be, to be able to understand the story. Good readers look for clues as they're reading a story. Do you see the asphalt for paving the road? Or the big shiny bulldozer pushing a load. Road and load, they rhyme. And there's A for asphalt and B for bulldozer. I see a crane way up high in the sky and a dusty red dump truck rumbling by. Here comes an excavator to dig a huge hole. And nearby there's a forklift hauling a pole. Let's look for the grater on the roadbed and a man with a hard hat protecting his head. I spy an eye beam made out of steel and a jackhammer making a noise you can feel. Are you seeing the rhymes? Every letter has a rhyme, steel and feel. Hear that kaboom, what a loud sound. Look at that huge loader scoops dirt from the ground. Watch people swing mallets at a swift pace, pounding in nails to hold parts in their place. Let's find the operator at the controls, guiding the pipes into the holes. I bet that's part of the roller coaster. The welders won't quit till the metal is bent and the new safety rails are placed in cement. The scaffolds come down before our eyes while workers pack up their tools and supplies. The underpass barrier is taken away. Now visitors enter. It's opening day. The construction work is finally done. Our excitement grows and we're ready for fun. For more than a year, we've watched the park bloom. Now hold on tight. Here we go. Get set to zoom down the roller coaster. And there they go, down the roller coaster. So what part did you connect with? Going to a playground, going to a, a, an amusement park, riding a roller coaster, watching construction vehicles, any of those things that you connected with? I want you to share about them in your reading journal. How did you connect with this story?